Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm uh, just going to do a few quick updates. Uh, just this evening I uh, became a YouTube partner, and so uh, yeah, that, that's kind of good. Um, I can now make money off my videos, unfortunately that means that you'll probably see some ads here or there, but uh, I'll try and keep them as a minimum really, because, well, I hate ads myself, but yeah, you, you've got to have them. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, made this uh, machine uh, a while back, and uh, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, it is, uh, it's a bit of an annoying machine, but it works quite well as a rapid pulser. It's, uh, I'm not sure how expandable it is, but uh, I found a few bugs with it, which is why I was playing around with it, but uh, nothing much, but... Uh, yeah, so, uh, YouTube partner, and, uh, yeah. Uh, don't know what else, uh, the adventure map that I was building that uses the, uh, boss chest mechanic that I, uh, have done a couple of videos on, that's pretty much, sort of, like, not gonna happen now. I, uh, wanted to make that sort of like because I really had not made an uh, adventure map before and uh, yeah but uh, that's probably not going to be released now I'm uh, working on uh, other projects that I'd uh, rather complete such as uh, my Java game which I've uh, done a little bit about and, uh, yeah just built a T flip flop for you. So if you know, didn't know how to make a T flip flop, then yeah. There are more compact ways of doing it now, but uh, these were the only ones, so yeah. Um, modded survival. Uh, at the time of this being recorded, I think I'm at uh, 17 or eight, 18, but uh, 19 and 20 have been uploaded, I just need to sort out the description for them and I'll release them over the next couple of days. So, I've got a few more on my hard drive that I need to actually physically edit, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, I've got them that I've been working on. Uh, just waiting for the 1.6 release and then I can maybe uh, fiddle a bit more in uh, Modded Survivor with some of the new features. And, uh, yeah, I need to get the turtles working and set up uh, some so they can just mine drop everything in the hopper and then send the uh, cart back up to the top and then unload into a load of chests and stuff so that uh, well that that could take a, a little while for me to uh, sort of like get right and stuff but uh, yeah So I can't really uh, type and speak at the same time, it's uh, a bit of a uh, downer for me. Never been able to type and speak at the same time, else uh, I just sort of like type what I speak really. But uh, yeah. Uh, where, where did that command block go? Little neat little sort of like thing when that gets to a certain point it just turns it to day and stuff but so uh, yeah I'm not doing sort of like a building episode I just wanted to do something where I just sort of like discuss a few things I'm on 25 subscribers now and I'm th trying to think what can I do if I get 50 because that, that's sort of like next significant number I mean 15,000 video views I might do something when I hit 20,000 but I'll probably like do one at 50,000 for that, but uh, if you have any ideas on what I could do for if I uh, hit 50 subscribers, then uh, post in the comments or sort of like you know where to sort of like contact me, sort of like Twitter and that. But uh, yeah. Saddles. Carrot on a stick. That That is the weirdest item that they added to Minecraft at the moment. Carrot on a stick. I mean, that reminds me of an old Monty Python sketch, Gannet on a Stick. 
I mean, that, that's just really, really weird. I mean, that's so like John Cleese shouting albatross all the time. And yeah. I like Monty Python, it's, it's really funny, but, uh, yeah. I wonder what happens if I can sort of like hook these up. That well, I could fiddle with that for ages and get some of the works, but uh, yeah. One thing I need to do is I need to sort of like 1.5 broke a lot of redstone stuff, and so one of my old maps. I'll s see if I can switch to it. That, that's a Hunger Games map I'm building. I'll show you that near the end, but uh, here we go. I uh, built this for a mini game that I was planning. But uh, it is completely broken. This is just a simple display, seven segment display, and I sh put a shift register on it so that it could uh, shift through it. And it, it just sort of like worked on the, sort of like coming into the bottom, and it, it, it was working for Scott. Um, let me get it up if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. It's very, very good. I just need to fix the shift register. Slimes. I mean, uh, what you do is you uh, spawn up in here. And uh, the, you get a set number of items that you can use because uh, the a API, I mean, API? AI changed, but... Uh, um, yeah, you can set different difficulties uh, and each one of these combines and so that's a different sort of like mob that comes out and so you could just sort of like set that and then it'll and uh, that that's this was before I knew how to compact sort of like things very much I mean that goes into several different uh, of those T flip flops that I uh, just showed and that they uh, go around here and display it there and uh, these are uh, AND gates so when you hit the um, start button it goes round through all of these and it this is sort of like a dispensing circuit where it dispenses a certain number of mobs over a certain number of time I think it's about 12 mobs and that that's uh, for each of the four dispensers around the edge uh, this is the uh, shift register it's a, it's a direct copy and uh, Underneath this, this is uh, very complex, but uh, it, it's modular, and so e each module, uh, I mean, each one of these comes from a module. There's, there's 16 modules, and so there's four that go into these, and uh, each one of these um, is connected to a, a button, which is basically reset. So once uh, a mob's fallen down a hole it uh, lands on a pressure plate which actually physically closes the hole up and uh, once you've closed them all up you press uh, this which is that and also every time uh, a mob drops it uh, triggers this which uh, all feeds through and uh, what was that? Oh yeah, that was the reset the score. Yeah, you just got. I, I was gonna put sort of like a ticker sort of thing through, but it didn't work. And it just comes into all the shift registers and registers the score. I mean, w when it worked, it was absolutely brilliant. I was just in the steps of uh, finishing it off. But uh, unfortunately, 1.5 broke a lot of things, and so this is one of the things that it broke and. Uh, yeah, this is my uh, Hunger Games map that I'm uh, currently working on. Uh, I just need to uh, finish off putting the grass down. These are the uh, chambers. Uh, they just push up. and I, I chose gold because it's easier to see. Up the top, all the players are going to spawn here. I'll put a command block circuit and then they'll just filter down here. And then uh, th there'll be some way to get... I think I put 16 in here. But, uh, yeah... What what was this? Uh, yeah, set set the spawn to the middle. There's uh, a door somewhere here, uh, there, that 
uh, allows you to get in you can close that and that's the lever that uh, pushes everything up but uh, what I, I, I did was I uh, started working on uh, a maze and it's, it's quite complex and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this to all four sides and uh, I think I'm going to put a circuit in where every uh, couple of minutes it uh, teleports everyone back to the middle and I'm going to put chests around everywhere so basically you've got to find what's in the chest to get back to the middle so that you can basically sort of like defend but uh, yeah I uh, built each small section there and then just used MC Edit to uh, copy and paste. I was going to do a proper maze where everything was filled in but uh, it, it was just a bit tedious and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete the templates and just copy and paste this to each side so each side is going to be identical the chests won't be in exactly the same place and so uh, you won't know where they are and I've chosen to have this as symmetrical and so each time you play it because you, you won't necessarily know where you you're ending up and I'll put some I'll put a sheet with like command blocks or something in it. I mean I I might just dig down further and do a separate layer where there's all the command blocks and so it, it teleports all the players that are up here. And it'll, it'll just go sequentially around depending on uh, the players are up here and it just does it automatically but uh, I mean, it, it's it's the centre bit's nearly done, but uh, it's just the maze, and so, uh, yeah. Multiplayer. That, I've got that because I'm playing Ghost Squadron that's uh, been on Seth Fling's challenge, <coughs> ch challenge channel. And uh, I've been playing a bit of that, I've been no good at it. Hypixel, I haven't been on that in a while. That's my uh, local host server. I've played Trouble in Mineville for a while, I'll Spleef World Cup, but... Uh, I'll put Captain Sparkle's server on when uh, his is released. Uh, oh yeah, I was playing Complex. I did some recording of that, but it, it was just taking too long. Don't know if I've uh, shown this, but uh, I don't know if anyone's seen Bite Size Minecraft where the squid comes out of the uh, chest and flies out. I, I tried a few uh, concepts, and this one was the one that nearly worked. It, it just didn't throw the mobs up. So what I think I'm going to need to do is maybe put a custom spawner that just that reacts to the uh, trap chest and it just flings them out. But uh, if I do that I'll uh, be sure to make a tutorial for that. Comparators before they uh, were fixed that, that would just keep pulsing that if it was uh, getting a uh, redstone signal and so it kept spawning squids in here they just weren't flying out. But yeah. Uh, Anything else I want to show you that I've been working on? I don't have ComputeCraft installed. I've just got the base uh, 1.5.2 1 on here. I, I've got four versions of Minecraft. Well, three technically. The standard Minecraft Exe. The Minecraft Exe which has got my username and password in so I can just get in with one click. Uh, Magic Launcher. And uh, the dev ones. So yeah, I've got all of these labelled New World and I, I don't know what's in them. What, is this the Spleef Arena that I once made? Oh yeah, Th this, this was uh, ages ago. Oops. Look, looks better at night, Spleef. Uh, uh, sort of like a boat harbour and uh, there's different entrances for sort of like players and uh, viewers. I mean, this this is the viewer area. I mean, it makes it hard to see, but uh, I'll, I'll go into the uh, bottom bit. This is the player entrance, and uh, that that's the bit where you come out from the bottom if you fall through. This is the um, team changing rooms. This is uh, the start sort of thing, where the sort of like judges are, and uh, the teams will come out here. I mean, uh, 
console right here and then whoa considerable amount of lag I need to sort this out but uh, let me just go out the front I don't like to stay inside when I do builds like this it, being alone in the same place it, it really Whoa. Sorry guys, the uh, video cut out. But, um, yeah, I was just saying I don't like staying in builds like this because um, it, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know what freaks me out more? Is when this happens. I know, I mean, I've been snow biome, but you don't have to freeze up all the time. Look, look, it's happened here as well. How, how are boats going to get into Bay 20? It's not acceptable. It is not acceptable. Why, why do you have to be so cold? <laughs> anyway, yeah. I've forgotten where I was at. Uh, let's go down straight to the bottom. What's this? Oh, this was my very, very first adventure map. Don't know how much um, I'll be able to do, but uh, sort of like market area and stuff like that. And there was a small backstory behind it, but uh, you had to find like certain item. And uh, there, there is actually uh, a volcano over in that direction. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Well, There's a pub there. path all the way through here. It was a very short map and so I, that, that's the main reason I never, never released it. So. But uh, yeah, I uh, built sort of like uh, this thing that you're about to see. So yeah, uh, quite a big city. I was going to expand on it and put sort of like more houses and stuff. I mean, there, there's ways to get out the jail and stuff as well. I, I uh, Put a little bit uh, in there. I think I think there was some houses. There's a sheep in the desert. Yeah, this I I actually built these using uh, World Edit and just sort of like modified them. But uh, the biggest thing is uh, over in this direction. If we if we can get it to generate. Come on, here we go. Now what what you've got to do is you've actually got to like find your way up here and uh, there, there's sort of like s stuff hidden and uh, I, I, I don't know I'll, I'll uh, forgotten what you've got to do now it's been so bloody long idea is that you uh, forgotten what all of these are for now. I I, I built this uh, many years ago, okay. and uh, you you fall down the toilet. That was just to stop it from like going too far. Now I know for a fact that uh, you, you drop down there into the like a shrine. Small snowballs. And there's uh, yeah. You, it was designed for two people, and so, uh, yeah. There's another chest <laughs> hidden even further back. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there's 
loads of stuff never released. I think I just ended up waffling on about old maps, haven't I? Where did that go? Oh, there's an ender pearl. But, uh, yeah. Let's go up here then. Up, 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 up. Let's go up. That was completely random. Don't know what that was. The idea is that you're not meant to go backwards. Yeah. I'll leave torches in because I just can't be uh, bothered. I just cannot, and I don't even have that good of a singing voice. They do mean something, but I just cannot remember what they are. Anyway, I'll, I'll just head back to the start. I actually started building this with too many items in uh, survival, because it was meant to be done in survival, and this was before you could actually change between uh, survival and creative. That's how old this is. My uh, headphones are actually slipping off. And if I don't sort them out soon, then you're going to hear a loud bang, which is basically uh, my headphones hitting my desk. But I don't want to stop. Oh, just stop and sort them out. There we go. Yeah, the reason the video conked out is because uh, an episode of Modded Survival is still on my C drive. And so. Uh, it uh, was taking up space, and it, it can't be copied for some reason, but uh, yeah. I originally designed this to be sort of like a multiplayer map where you could sort of like buy properties, and so this was sort of like designed to be a farm type one, I mean, uh, gravel path walk, farming only, no exceptions, chicken in the water, duvenati, that's it, bank. of these doors that sort of like there's I, I just put some sort of like stuff in getting out sort of like a lot easier than getting in but and it is snowing and it is thundering this is something I've never actually happened before. Mayor's house, I won't show you in there. I'll, I'll show you what's in the tower. Snowballs. No, that was sort of like... Over. Not a song, but... Uh, yeah. There. yeah, it, it it's really... When I uh, built this, it was originally going to be uh, a ruin, and uh, I uh, took some screenshots as uh, sort of like background reading material, but decided now I'd, I'd, I'd rebuild it. And uh, well, there's actually a grave here. This, this is Duvenati. I have made that name up. Sorry if you know it relates to anything, but uh, it is, was made up and. Uh, there is actually yeah, a chest with a load of stuff underneath there, but I uh, won't go too much into that. I think that's everything now. I've just ended up waffling on, haven't I? Yep. So, uh, if you have any ideas on what I could do for 50 subscribers, then uh, just let me know. If you have any ideas of games I could play, then just let me know as well. A uh, few things regarding games. I am going to try and get hold of an Xbox One, possibly. Um, and uh, I'll see how easy it is to sort of like record off that. If it's not possible at all, then sorry. But if I can actually get some recording off that, I might play some games. But uh, we can live in hope. And uh, yeah, 
thanks for watching guys and i'll uh, see you next